Chloe, today we're at Pinnacle Machine Tools in front of the LV116, a very heavy, a very robust machine. But I want to talk to you about in-cycle tool measurement today, the balloon probe. Tell us more. Okay, so it's a ZX speed probe and it's a tool, tool length probe, so we can measure the length, measure the radius, so any breakages on the tool at all. And what are the advantages? It's not just to check the tools there, is it? No, it's setup time as well, really. How, how accurate is it? Okay, so when you're probing it, it actually probes up to three decimal places, so it's really accurate. So if we're doing multiple components, you know, you don't need to be stood in front of the machine, do you? You can rest assured that if, if it's out of tolerance, it either shuts the machine down or, or alters the offsets. Yeah, definitely. So if you've got a breakage of a tool or the tool's gone up into the tool holder or something like that, it will test the tool and it will give you an alarm to say, look, something's gone wrong with the tool. Just check it before an accident happens. And this is a three axis machine, very important here. But as we look to adopt automation and more lights out machine, it becomes even more important. Yeah, definitely. You want that high efficiency and having something like this definitely eliminates the process of having an error or something like that. And having tool breakages, you can't sometimes see from the eye. So having something like this, which is inspection quality, it's great. And how does it interact with the control? Let's say it's a 10 mm and it does drop out of tolerance. So how does that, what's that journey? How does it communicate with the control? Okay, so you can use a probing cycle within your program. So halfway through your program, you can call up a cycle. When you get in the machine tool ready, just checking tools, maybe that another person has used the tool before just to make sure it is the right, right length and right radius.